in an ideal world, we'd love to remove the entire restoration, remove yeah. any caries, access yeah. for cracks. But yeah. when after 20 minutes, we need to get in, go for the kill. Is yeah. that okay? Can you forgive us? Yeah, no, it is. At the end of the day, this is about patient. This is about getting the patient out of pain. Okay. And you just need to get in there. I used to call it ninja endo. Get in there, get the job done, get out before without the patient realizing it. That's my principle in endo, whether it's emergency or, or endo. You want to be stealthy. Stealth. Stealth, okay. <laughs> and the first priority is getting into the pulp. By going into the pulp, you automatically release pressure. There's pressure buildup. That's the number one property of inflammation, isn't it? Basically, you're applying a sedative material to relieve the inflammation. Most common uh, and pro popular products are steroid-based. Be before we talk about uh, yeah. medicaments and stuff, yeah, before we talk about the medicaments, I, I just love to ask some real-world questions. Like, let's say you go in, you open up the pulp chamber, do you think is desirable for the practitioner who's going to refer to you in the future? Should we be also removing the roof of the pulp chamber as much as possible? So let's say that lower molar I saw that the other day had four canals, mesiobuccal, mesilingual, two distals, so four canals. And I did. I opened it all up as much as I could to visualize those four canals. And it was mostly restorative material I was removing at this point. And now, is it okay in that short appointment to just literally go in, see the pulp chamber, and then proceed to the medicaments? Or would you recommend to open it? Or does it depend on any factors? Okay, in short, forget about the root canals. Job is to get in there, relieve the pressure, open the pulp space up and apply the dressing. That's simple. Like, that's all you have to do on a Friday afternoon. 